Diplomats are a force throughout our history. Securing alliances, opening markets, negotiating trade deals, and spreading American ideals around the world. It's easy to understand the 101st Airborne when they go out and they want a big battle for America. It's not as easy to understand the battles that are won every day in the field by America's diplomats abroad. I go to South Africa with no uncertainties about the rightness of our objectives. South African president at the time, P.W. Bota, was a fellow out of central casting. He said, you didn't hear me, did you? I don't want you traveling around our country. I don't want you getting involved in our affairs. He began to rant and rave. <laughs> His aides were visibly shaken. Too often, we only recognize their sacrifice when things go wrong. My first tour, which was in India, it cost me a son uh, to bad medical care. Uh, had we lived in the United States, he would still be with us. It was, in some ways, an ideal assignment if it all hadn't come crashing down on the 4th of November. We have breaking news. An American, we can confirm now, has been killed in Libya tonight at the consulate. Benghazi was a tragedy. Um, I, I just think, ultimately, they got it wrong, proved wrong, and it was a tragic event. Benghazi and the way it has been politicized in our domestic debate has made Washington, frankly, scared of taking any losses. And I think that will continue whichever party is the next, has the next administration. I was the last one up and had taken a few steps when this boom. A uh, huge percussion came and threw me back. I thought, I'm going to die. It's done because people love the concept of serving their country, and they love the idea of taking American ideals abroad. These are the foot soldiers on the front lines of America's foreign policy. These are America's diplomats.